We're here at the True Blue Crew annual Aussie Pride Flag March here at the Royal Exhibition Building. Today's the big day, the biggest day on the uh, Patriot Nationalist calendar here in Melbourne. As you can see, people have already assembled here. And of course, if you just go, we walk over to here, you can see the Antifa uh, campaign against racism and fascism in the distance. You can see that there's a large police presence here, making sure that everyone stays safe. And there's also quite a few uh, famous patriots who've, who've come. I'll just interrupt his uh, cigarette, Neil. How are you going, mate? How are you? I'm good. Uh, how are you feeling about today? Well, I just walked past the left. Uh, they're pretty excited, but hopefully it goes well. Yeah, they always want to cause trouble here. Now, you're known as a bit of a, uh, a troublemaker. Nah, look, I'm just a spectator today, mate. I'm just supporting the TBC boys. Um, no shenanigans out of me today, mate. That, that's good to hear. And you still, obviously, still got the Milo 5 uh, court case. Yeah, we've got a court case. The police have basically charged us for defending ourselves. I've been attacked by the left before. Happens all the time in Victoria, but because uh, Daniel Andrews has chosen the uh, the Premier of Victoria, um, it becomes um, a left-wing uh, police um, hierarchy. So that's war. And we've also got a Kane, leader of the True Blue Crew. Uh, so uh, obviously it takes a lot of organisation to pull off a day like today. Hopefully everything comes together today just oh, yeah. as we planned and yeah we've got a got a good little route planned for the march so it should be interesting. Yeah, oh well good luck. No worries. Cheers mate, I'll talk to you soon. And we've also got uh, Gary Hume here. You're a bit famous now, you're also one of the Milo Five. Yeah, unfortunately I am. It's not something I wanted to be, but um, yeah, it appears that I am. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, can I come today to uh, support the movement? Yeah, listen, it's a, it's a proud day. Everyone should be uh, proud of being Australian and the flag. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's a meaningful thing and it's good to see people show up and uh, show their pride. Oh, we just had an Australian flag just go in front of the camera. Recording. Oh, well, it's great to see at the Aussie Pride Flag March, there's uh, quite a number of other alt media personalities here. We've got the Young Conservative here. How are you going? Uh, now, you got uh, doxxed on the, the Melbourne anti-fascist uh, website. Uh, did it scare you at all? Um, not really. It annoyed me the most that they said that my videos were scripted, because they're really not. <laughs> they're impromptu. They didn't seem to know anything else about me apart from what was on face value on my page, and... There's nothing else to say, really. <laughs> and it didn't also scare you that this is you're, you're attending a Nazi fascist rally today? Well, no, because it isn't a Nazi fascist rally. It's a, it's a collection of patriots. It's about it. And we've also got uh, Johnny Moore here, who's on uh, Facebook and YouTube. G'day, mate. So you're new to uh, the, the, the media scene. Is this the first type of public event you've been to? Well, no, I've been to the Safe Schools Rally, which was my first time since I've graduated out of school last year. I'm an 18-year-old conservative, and um, I reckon the younger generations could use more voices, and we've already got David here, who was a good ass mate, keep up the good work. And, um, yeah, the second one was the Israeli-Palestinian Rally, and I'd say this so far, this is my third rally. It's the first time being here at the True Blue Crew, and I, and I realised some of them, they're all patriots. We've also run into YouTuber Aldea. Uh, welcome to the Aussie Pride Flag March. Thank you, I'm excited. Got adrenaline pumping in me. Uh, now you've started to, to get out uh, from, from, uh, from YouTube out onto the, the streets. You, you're enjoying venturing out a bit more? I am, I think vlogging is a little bit more interesting because you're not just making a difference behind um, a computer screen, you're making a difference physically and you really feel like you're trying to action the change you speak about. And obviously you've seen the, seen the, seen the crowd here uh, so far, plenty of uh, Aussie flags, it yeah. f fills you with enthusiasm? It does! I'm a proud Australian, I'm a first generation Australian, my parents are both immigrants, they've assimilated and I have pr pride in my country and um, I don't think there's anything wrong with pride and national, having a national identity. Uh, well, we'll see how, to, how today goes. It's, it's about to kick off in about uh, uh, 10 minutes time. Yes. Uh, it's it's going to be going to be great. Yes, it will be. Adrenaline is pumping, and hopefully there's no dramas. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll catch up later in the day as well. So Blair Cottrell's just arrived at the uh, Aussie Pride Flag March. Uh, Blair, are you all pumped for today? Yeah, mate. Um, we do this every year, and it's always a good turnout. It's good to still see a bit of national pride in this country, so hopefully we can do it without incident. Of course, uh, no rally is complete without uh, a souvenir here. Yes, I found this, well we found this souvenir at the top of Burke Street where they were moved on. 
obviously they forgot their merchandise so um, now we've got a souvenir don't know what we're going to do with it yet but I'm sure we can think of something oh, what do you make of the, the sign well we're not racist so I don't know why they're fight, fighting racism we're um, just Australians you know trying to stand up for our country that's about it you know that's all we're here for is to fight to stand up for our country no one else is doing it so why not come together to express national pride something which is considered criminal by certain people in our society but this intolerance we combat with a steadfast and unshakable belief in the greatness of our country in our people where we come from and who we are we are taught to believe we are taught to believe that we are all immigrants but there's a difference between immigrating into an existing country and working, fighting, dying, bleeding to build one of your own. And that's what our ancestors did for this country. So let's honour them, let's march together, keep it tight, stay proud, uh, proud. let's do it. I 
I'll address you again when we get down there and so will several others. So five minutes and we'll make a move.
you're quite loud in the in the rally so is your voice okay yeah it's fine i can go another round oh awesome <laughs> oh well, well done on today and all the best for the future thank you very much so the aussie pride rally has uh, wrapped up now uh, as you can see the the crowd is about to uh, disperse uh, luckily uh, the, the police kept uh, antifa at, at bay there were no uh, scuffles uh, but uh, we hope that everyone on the way back here can uh, stay safe there's a few uh, drinks and other celebrations going on uh, but it's yeah, it's it's been a good experience uh, interesting these are these public events to go to are always uh, quite enlightening, so I hope you enjoyed the Unshackled's coverage and hopefully you'll join us at the next big event in Melbourne. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.